Right, let's start by drawing this. We've got a little skateboarder dude. And um, he drops in and ends up at the bottom here. And um, what's his uh, what's his velocity when he reaches the bottom? Well, that's simply energy conservation. And I'm just going to use the shortcut here. If an object falls through a height h and doesn't lose any other um, doesn't lose energy in any other form, then we can simply say that v equals the square root of two g h. Um, it says the radius of the ramp is nine meters. So that is nine meters there. So plugging that in, I get two times 9.81 times nine, and I take the square root, and that gives me 13.3 meters per second for the first one. Assuming he does not lose any speed across the horizontal section, what will be the normal reaction at the moment that he starts to move back up to the other side? That moment is when he starts moving again in a circle so other than just his weight there would be um, more normal reaction needed in order to move him in a circle so just drawing those forces we're going to have normal reaction force here and less weight because then the net force is acting towards the center of the circle and the circle we're imagining is is this thing here so let's just um, put those two forces into an equation. The vector sum will be mv squared over r. Um, therefore, the normal reaction will be mv squared over r plus mg. So um, using the earlier velocity, the radius is 9 meters and the mass is 62. So I need to do 62 times 13.3 squared divided by 9 and I'm going to add that to 62 times 9.81 and that gives me 1824 newtons.